Pete the Cat, Sir Pete the Brave, by James Dan. Meet Sir Pete, the bravest knight in the land. Sir Pete rides a horse and climbs towers. At dinner, Sir Pete listens to Lady Callie play the harp. Lady Callie is awesome. Bravo! Sir Pete yells at the end of each song. He claps louder than anyone. One night, while Lady Callie plays beautifully, someone casts a spell, and everyone falls asleep, even Sir Pete. The next morning, Lady Callie is gone. Oh no! Says Sir Pete the Brave. I will find Lady Callie and save her. Giddy up! Sir Pete falls in a hole. The hole is a dragon's footprint. Follow the footprints, Sir Pete says to his horse. The footprints stop. Where did the dragon go? Sir Pete looks up and sees the dragon flying across the lake with Lady Callie and her harp. Sir Pete can't fly. But he can row. Across the lake he goes. Sir Pete sees a dragon cave. He has to go inside, but it is very dark. Then he hears music. He must save Lady Callie. He won't be scared. He finds a harp, but no Lady Callie. Sir Pete will not give up. He climbs the highest hill. He looks around for Lady Callie. Then he hears a loud growl. Sir Pete is scared. The hill starts to move. Sir Pete is on the dragon's back. Sir Pete knows what to do. He slides down, down, down the dragon's back. The dragon sees Pete and roars. Sir Pete says, "Lady Callie, I will save you." Save me," says Sir Pete. "But I came to save you." Sir Pete and Lady Callie start to argue. The dragon starts to cry. "I just wanted to sing along," the dragon sobs. "I did not want to hurt anyone." "I have an idea," says Sir Pete. Will you give us a lift? The dragon flies Sir Pete and Lady Callie home. Everyone is happy to see them. You don't need a great voice to make music, says Sir Pete. Just good friends. The dragon joins the song. Three cheers for Lady Callie and Sir Pete the Brave. The end.